What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornal Marketing, and welcome to day 21 of Brazemus 2023. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Yesterday, we talked about campaign re-eligibility, and I'm sure you couldn't help but wonder the feature that lives right below the re-eligibility settings, frequency capping. Let's talk about frequency capping today, what it is, where to set it up, and what your capabilities are. Let's get started. So back on the campaign builder under page two, schedule delivery, all the way at the bottom in the delivery control section, we see frequency capping and you have not created any frequency capping rules. So we can click manage frequency capping rules to get to the frequency cap page in Brace. And you can also go to settings and frequency capping rules under the middle workspace settings column. So before we look at the setup page, let's hover over this tool tip and see what they say. So set frequency cap rules to control the volume of messages that your users will receive and avoid overwhelming your audience. So the brand can literally set a cap for how frequently they message their users and Braze allows us to set separate rules for each channel. So let's check out what that looks like. So here we are on the frequency capping page. And right now I have no rules set up and it says to add rules to limit the frequency at which users receive different types of messages. So let's go ahead and click add rule. And the first field we get is the frequency number. So send no more than X messages and we get to set that frequency number right here. By the way, there's really no magic number for the right amount of frequency. Every industry is different and every user base might have different expectations for the number of messages they receive for each channel. So we always encourage to experiment, learn, and iterate. The next dropdown is where we choose the channel. So the first default option is for all channels, campaigns, and canvas steps of any type. If you click the dropdown, you should see all the available channels in your dashboard. So you can set channel specific frequency capping rules. Now we got some additional information when we choose the all channel option. It says that Frequency capping rules will be applied to webhooks, push notifications, and emails, and frequency capping rules will not be applied to in-app messages and user update canvas steps. So these are all good information to know. The next dropdown, our options are from all campaign slash canvas steps or with specific tag. And now you actually need to already have tags ex existing in your dashboard to see the second option, the with specific tag option. So I've added two high level tags for now, marketing and transactional. And the first option applies this frequency capping rule to all campaigns and canvases in your dashboard. However, you do have the option to opt out of frequency capping rules for each specific campaign and canvas. So even if you choose this all option, you still have some flexibility. I personally like the tag option because it helps us to think about our campaigns and canvas efforts in a more organized way, having to keep in mind which tags are appropriate for which campaigns or canvases and how we might want to set a frequency cap at the tag level. Lastly, we set the time frame by adding an integer and choosing minutes, days, or weeks. Notice that every additional rule that we add, they get added on an and basis. That means that Braze will make sure that every single rule is respected when messaging your users. For example, I have these two rules set up. One, send no more than 10 campaign slash canvas steps of any type from all campaigns and canvas steps to a user every week. And send no more than five email campaign slash canvas steps from all campaign canvas steps to a user every week. So that means that even if a user only received three emails in one week, if they received more than seven other messages like push or SMS during that same week, then they've hit that first rule already and they will not be eligible to receive any more emails for the rest of the week, even if they've not hit that second rule quite yet. Here are some important callouts from the Braze documentation. So this, this time frame can be measured in minutes, days, weeks, seven days, or months with a maximum duration of 30 days. You can add up to 10 rules per workspace. This one's a little bit long. Global frequency capping is scheduled based on the user's time zone and is calculated by calendar days, not 24 hour periods. For example, if you set up a frequency capping rule of sending no more than one campaign a day, a user may receive a message at 11 p.m. in their local time zone 
and they would be eligible to receive another message an hour later. With frequency capping by tag, rules can be set on the main and nested tags, so Braves will take into account all tags. For example, if you've selected to use the main tag A to frequency cap, we'll also include information in all the nested tags, for example, tags B and C, when determining the limit. And the last one from the documentation, canvases are tagged at the canvas level as opposed to tagging by component. So each canvas component will inherit all of the canvas level tag. Lastly, now that I have some frequency capping rules set up, let's revisit the campaign builder page and frequency capping will be turned on by default. And as I mentioned earlier, we have the option to opt out of frequency capping for each campaign meaning this campaign will not be following the frequency capping rules we set up earlier. In addition to that, we have the option of still making this campaign count towards our frequency cap. So even though this campaign will not follow the rules, we could still make this campaign count towards the frequency capping rules that we have set up. Most transactional campaigns do not follow frequency capping rules to make sure that all users receive all the messages that they should. That's it for day 21. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, then please subscribe for more Austin Braves videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.